Hello everyone, welcome to API testing. So last video we have seen how to use registration API using post method. So just go for the document. Here you can see the login API details actually. So URL will end with login. This is also a post method and email password as a parameter. So here you can see what is the successful response. And if you miss something, what you will get. If you are giving wrong credential detail, you should get this kind of response. So just go to the tool, copy. So instead of register, just change it as login. So some guys, if you don't understand, if you're starting uh, AP testing from this video, just go back to my previous video. So we'll understand the registration process also. Here is the login. So method is post. So in body, you have to enter email and password as mentioned in the document email and password so if you are login you should use already registered e email okay so i will go to my previous uh, registration api i will use the same email id shiva22 at gmail.com okay password what i have used one two three four five six one two three four five six just trigger yeah you got name email api key created it so this is the successful response so when you are putting the wrong password you are getting yeah login failed when you do without password you are getting required field is missing so this is how you have to test login api using post method okay guys so let's send valid data you got a successful response name email api so this api key what is the use of api key so we can see in next video i think you guys have understood how to do registration as well as api using post method so if you guys have any doubt on this please uh, comment in my videos please subscribe thank you guys